Here are some questions you might ask yourself about your practicing. I think that in considering them, it could be helpful in understanding where your practicing might be improved. So with that in mind, why don't we start? The first question is, how well do you understand your strengths and weaknesses? What I mean by this is, do you know what you do well, what you are good at doing? Or, looking at the other side of the coin, do you know what you are not so good at? Perhaps it would be helpful to begin by making a chart like this one with a line down the middle. On this side, you could write things I'm good at, and on this side, things I'm not so good at. Looking at things that have been written down can be extremely helpful. Here's the next question. Do you set specific goals for your practice sessions? So when you begin practicing, do you have a specific goal in mind? Or do you just say, I want to get the piece better? Do you start by playing and when something doesn't work, stop it and try to fix it? Hmm. David Buswell said it well in his book on performance strategies for musicians. He wrote, plan what to do, know why you are doing it, know what you wish to accomplish. The third question is, do you set long-term goals? Weeks, months, years. For example, taking a year to fix the left-hand position on my pinky finger or the position of the thumb on my bow, well, something like this will not happen <laughs> in a day. Trust me. Here's the next question. Do you set short-term goals? You know, like minutes, hours, days. This is simply asking if you set time limits for things like a shift in a passage or the speed of a passage. Saying that if you do it for seven minutes a day, it should happen in seven days. For example, question number five. Do you evaluate the progress made towards your goals? If you can do something when you start practicing a passage at a metronome mark of 70, do you measure how far you get it in a week? The sixth question is, do you plan the order of the activities of your practice sessions. In other words, do you write down what you are going to do before you start practicing and stick to the order? And the next question is, do you plan the time of your practice sessions? Have you ever thought about using your calendar to determine how much practice time you have each day for the week to come? for the weeks to come. And here is the eighth question. Do you understand how to create practice strategies? Strategies are necessary as they help guide us towards the realization of how we imagine the piece to be. So with that in mind, have you thought about using this imagination to try and think of new ways, create new ways? to practice things. And the ninth question. Do you use specific strategies that relate to your practice goals? Do you say, if I do this, then, then this, then that, it will lead me to this outcome? Now, question number 10. Do you reuse strategies that have been effective in the past? I once asked a student to create an imaginary box, and when they tried something that worked, put it inside the box so they wouldn't forget it, so that they could later pull it out, use it again. Moving on to question number 11. 
Do you seek outside information to support your musical decision making? I mean, there are so many books, articles out there on practicing. Have you had a look at one of those recently? Or have you looked at all the available videos on YouTube of the piece you're working on? Research, research, research. Here is the 12th question. Do you organize the physical environment of your practice sessions? <laughs> a guitarist friend of mine used to practice outside next to a pool and people would stop and listen. I thought this to be very egotistical at the time, but now after thinking about it, he was always practicing in front of someone. And so he was always practicing to perform. And question number 13. Can you reach your practice goals without the support of peers, teachers, etc.? Simply put, can you do it on your own? Stephen Clapp once said to me that his job as my teacher was to put himself out of a job. I never forgot this. He was a very, very wise man, an incredible teacher. And finally, question number 14. Do you understand that setting your goals is very challenging? Well, after all that's been said before, I don't think this question needs any commentary. So do take care and please stay safe.